Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 3 of Life on the Rim with me, Rednick Einstein. We're playing with Reinstein, Ashen Crow, Oz, Lord Cucumber, and Alfred Skips. Uh, Alfred Skips was quite fortunate to uh, dodge his uh, infection and didn't die from it, thank god. Now, Reinstein's got a little bit of an injury as we start this episode. He's uh, just recovering from some bruising. Now, what I have been thinking about is... Well, firstly, I mean, how long is the range? I'm wondering what the range of, like, the bow is. I don't actually know. Um, the reason for that is because I don't know if this defensive uh, sort of area we've got here is good enough for them to actually defend from. The second thing related to that is I guess we need some more security. Now, one of um, my subscribers or, or a commenter has said that they think I should... Well, there's two thoughts. One is we should have an initiation ceremony for any new people who join our colony. So essentially, uh, I think it was mentioned that one of them would like lose a leg, have have their one of their legs removed and be made to be peg-legged or something like that. If anyone's got any other suggestions for initiation ceremonies, that would be pretty damn cool. Uh, but I've been having loads of thoughts. Uh, one is also to build like a defensive area here, and I guess I kind of want to plan it out before I go any further. So let's go to orders. And what I was thinking was, make like a maze uh, of entry that would actually, I don't know, how can I say it, uh, lead to lots of injuries. So basically what I would lay down would be these deadfall traps. And then they would walk through a whole load of them and hopefully get injured, you know, uh, as they come through into our base, rather than the usual kill box, which is what I usually do. Um, I think that'll be a lot, it'll be quite different and it should be a lot more interesting. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this already, I'm kind of losing my tr my thoughts here, I've had so many thoughts, I'm going bananas. Uh, someone said I should try and do this playthrough without any turrets. Now, yeah, that's kind of interesting, I think that would be good. Uh, actually, hold on a second. And by the way, yeah, I think I will try and do it without turrets. Um, so yeah, I think we need to chop some more wood down. Um, but I don't think we have anyone instructed to be our plant cutter. No, we don't. We've got our cook there, constructor. Alright, so Lord Cucumber, you're on plant cutting duty then. I'll put you on three on the hauling. Um, yeah, and I also think we need some more doors. That would probably help, um, just make it a lot easier for people to, like, come in and out of the base and stuff, because currently, let's say Ash and Grow is right here. If he wants to get back in the base, he's going to have to go all the way around there to that door. Now, I think it'd probably be easier if I had sort of one door there, one door there, and probably a door over here so they could afford, uh, avoid the deadfall traps. Now, what I was planning on doing here um, was just putting down like a wall. So let's say they walk through here. These are all deadfall traps. Then we build another wall, let's say there, make that go along there and then they walk around and face some more deadfall traps something like that but uh, I think oh we've got cassowary revenge I think what I want to wait for where's he gone cassowary's coming for you <laughs> ash and crow yeah so what I want to wait for is uh, so we can actually construct some blocks because making the um, the deadfall traps out of blocks would probably be a lot better and we've actually got some sandstone blocks there, so what I think I'll do is use some now. Let's go in here. So sandstone blocks. They take 70. Wow. Didn't realize they took quite that many. I've only got three limestone. All right, we'll have to pass up on that being a thing then. <laughs> that cassowary is chasing Ashikro all the way across the map. <laughs> well, that's the law of the jungle, I'm afraid, mate. Uh, I did have another cool idea as well. I thought it might be fun if we built like... I'm going to use these sandstone blocks for this idea. Built like a chief's hut. So one of us could be elected as a chief um, based on their previous performance. So I'll try not to record too far ahead and you guys can give me feedback. If you notice someone doing something really good and you think they should be nominated the chief, then what I can do is build them a little hut up here and make it a bit more fancy than the rest. Let's say, I don't know, like we make it have a nice shape or something. Um, and then, you know, I can elect them to use that bed for the evening or something like that. I mean, 
it's not much, but it should add to our little role-playing idea that we're going for here. So yeah, let's make their little hut like so. Uh, I'm probably not going to have enough sandstone for this, but never mind. There we go. So that's going to be like the tribal leader's hut. Uh, and I'll just choose one to get us started once all that's built. Um, yeah, we need some more wood. So Lord Cucumber. Ah, good. You're chopping down the wood. Lovely, lovely. How's Ash and Crow getting on? Is he still running away from the cassowary? <laughs> yes. Look at him. He's all the way up here. That cassowary is like... I'm going to kill you, boy. You've been trying to shoot me. Run, Ash and Crow's trapped you. Oh, you've escaped. Oh, there could be something interesting in here. That could be fun. Oh, Ash and Crow, he's getting you. He's been scratched by cassowary feet. Melee his ass. <laughs> oh, God, this is not a good place to be. Ash and Crow could get taken down here. Oh, well. Try and beat him about the face and see if that works. As long as Ash and Crow stays on his feet, we're golden. Yeah! Good man. All right. Uh, prioritize hunting. No, we better not. We better leave that. We better get you back home and put you in the bed here while you're still still alive. I suspect you're going to get an infection or something. Ah, great news. We've actually got some uh, produce here, some some berries that we can use to cook our meals. Lovely. So that puts less pressure on um, Ash and Crow to do his hunting. Now, yeah, we were having problems with these bloody beds, weren't they? Uh, it's one of my big biggest bugbears, you know, if they're going to be sleeping in a nice bed They don't want to be sleeping in a, in a shoddy bed So I'm going to get rid of that shoddy bed and make them build it again until it's good. I think I talked about that in the last episode All right, so we need to keep an eye on this. Uh, we need to make sure we have enough wood as well So I'm actually going to set an order to chop Well, just loads of wood just so we don't run out all right, here comes Ash and Crow. How's your health, mate? 56% bleeding. We don't actually have any medicine. Ooh, combat's pregnant. Hang on, can I click on that? Yeah, combat. Oh, lovely. So we've got a female. Aha, uh -huh, and a male Labrador. <laughs> male Labrador Retriever. Of subscribers for the win. Yeah. All right, cool. So, all right. The other thing is, yeah, we need to construct roofs. Now, this looks like it doesn't have a roof but it actually does uh, I guess eventually we're gonna need to make them have nice floors and stuff All right let's put a little torch in that one yeah because you can't we can't have little bushes growing inside our huts although if we're tribal maybe that happens in tribal cultures not a hundred percent sure um, where's our doctor there's Reinstein Are you coming to treat Ash and Crow there we go Goody goody, you go and look after him. Oh, I like the way he sort of did a little sprint there to come and help him out. And we've got five meals, so we're good on that front. Ash and Crow's in a poor mood. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're going to get an infection here. I guess we'll need a hospital bed, maybe. Maybe we should make this hospital bed. And Ash and Crow can go and rest in there. You're not uh, unable to move, are you? I suspect that's got better healing properties than uh, another one. It doesn't. I guess it doesn't say though. Let's have a look. Uh, flammability, beauty, comfort, quality. Ah, yeah, here we go. Immunity gain speed factor. So 110%. I'm assuming that means it's 10% more effective than a sleeping spot. Although I don't know. Right, Reinstein's sleeping on the floor. Really? Why wouldn't you sleep in that little sleeping spot there? Aha, because it's owned by Ash and Crow. All right, so Reinstein, let's give you a good night's sleep. Wake you up. Off you go. Good job. Okay, so we've got plenty of wood. Our stove is still fueled. Yeah, we wanted to build some traps, didn't we? I guess we can make them out of uh, wood, can we? Yeah. Uh oh, there we go. There's the disease that I, I, I was pretty confident would uh, happen. Oh, yeah, and I talked about those doors, didn't I? Let's get some doors now we've got some wood. Make it about halfway along the wall so they can can get in and out without being uh, too trouble. We'll put one there as well. All right, how's Ash and Crow doing? Let's take a little look at him. Ah, oh, infection minor. I forgot to get Reinstein to like fix him. There we go. Dr. Reinstein to the rescue, Ash and Crow. We will save you, good sir. I think uh, due, due to Ash and Crow's unbelievable uh, cowardice, in, in, in the face of adversity from that rampaging cassowary, he shouldn't probably get the chief hut for uh, for when it's first built. Um, 
I'm kind of leaning towards my own character, which sounds a bit big-headed, but I am the one attending to Ash and Crow and making sure he's got a bite to eat there. So I guess that means, you know, I'm really quite valuable to the colony. Uh, Lord Cucumber's done quite well. I haven't noticed what Oz is up to. I'm sure he's doing something rather effective, although he could just be lying there doing nothing. Who knows? <laughs> um, all right, let's check what... Yeah, we need someone to uh, do our research as well, don't we? So who's free? Ash and Crow. I guess Ash and Crow, we can take you off hunting for a while. And get you researching. You're at nine currently in researching. That actually works quite well. The reason I can take you off of hunting is because we got some food now. Yay! Our crops are starting to grow. You know what I might do? Set up some more zones for crops just so we can have like a, a regular abundance of them. So once these lot have grown, we'll have a fresh lot which will grow just behind it, I guess. Uh, Let's see here, we'll plant some strawberries there. We'll have some lovely rice. Some more strawberries. I like strawberries uh, because they're pretty tasty. <laughs> but also because they can eat them raw and it satisfies their hunger. Okay, so we've got a raid. A group of pirates from the soldier company again. Yay! Ooh, this time they got guns. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to jack their guns. So when they come inside our walls, I'm going to hide behind them. And engage them in melee combat, meaning they can't actually fire upon me. Ha <laughs> ha! What's Cucumber up to? Cutting a tree. Are they attacking straight away? I think... Well, it says they're wandering. I should have really checked. No, I think uh, they're waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. Well, we'll just see how that goes, won't we? Um, bizarre how these tribal people have learnt how to build using... What was it? L sandstone. Uh... I suppose sandstone's close to like that muddy pulp that they use to build huts out of. Maybe, maybe I'll let them off of it. Um, all right, how's Ash and Crow doing with his infection? Thirty-two percent immune. Aha! Here they go. They're coming for their assault. So that means we should get into our defensive positions. Um, Ash and Crow can stay there. Reinstein and Oz. We want you both. Now I don't have an opportunity to fail this, so I need to make sure I'm doing this right. Can I actually see where they're going to wander to? No, I can't. I'm assuming they're going to come in the entrance I've made down here, though. Alright, so that being the case, Alfred Skips, you will be one who will engage them in melee, so you can sneak up behind them from maybe there. And Oz can be another one who does that as well. Reinstein, I guess, will put you there. And Lord, ah, you, Lord Cucumber's got the shiv, though. Well, you can be another one who jacks them when they come around. Yeah, good thinking, Riney. Ha ha! Uh, hang on a second, what's going on here? Are they shooting something? They're shooting my dog! They're shooting her dog! Oh, god damn it! Please don't tell me. I should have set a dog animal. Uh, a dog zone dog animal. What am I talking about? Animal area one. What is animal area one? That's not going to work. Okay, so... Hopefully what I can do here is... <laughs> rescue the dog? Um, I guess we don't want the dog to, like, leave this area here. So let's just make that a bit bigger. And fingers crossed he will run back and be safe. We really need these doors. Oh, God, is that the pregnant dog? That is, it's the pregnant one! Run, combat! You can do it! Oh god, combat's down! Per pregnant middle stage, how dare you, you nasty brutes! Ash and Crow, we may need to call you back into service. Tell you what, Reinstein, you're gonna rush to work on the door, and then you can drag combat's body back inside, and hopefully we can save her. Alright, we also need to keep an eye on these, uh, these raiders. Come on in, raiders! I told you, we're gonna jack you. So yeah, as soon as they come around here, we need to get our people to, like, attack them. Because if, if they're able to shoot, then we're screwed a little bit. Alright, here we go. Lord Cucumber and Alfred Skips, you take care of Henry here. There we go. And Oz can take care of Lynx. He runs around the wall. Oh, nice. So they, they looks like they're getting injured, but I'm... Assuming they're not going to be bleeding our characters because they're hitting me basically with a pistol. 
All right, looks like we killed one. Yes, Henry the gardener is dead. Right, lads, don't stand on ceremony. Come and help. Oh, God, come and help out us. The old man is down. And Lynx is trying to make a run for it. Chase him down, boys. All right, how's uh, Reinstein getting on? He's rescued. Oh, excellent. He's rescued combat without me even telling him to. I completely forgot about that. Um, I don't think you lads are going to manage to catch him, so we'll leave that. And Lord Cucumber shall rescue of lovely jubbly, sir. Okay, let's, uh, well, everyone kind of needs a medical bed, but it's not urgent. Oh dear, major infection untreated. Riney, who do we prioritize, the dog or, or Ash and Crow? Oh, that's tough. Come on, come and treat him. What's he treating him with, anyway? If you haven't actually got any medicine, what's he doing? Just sort of poking him, going, yeah, it's not that, not as infected as it was. Uh, it's treated, yay, and then the the, lit, the writing on the screen says it's treated. Mm, yeah, mm, whatever. <laughs> okay, uh, there we go. Yes, now we got guns. So now what I need to decide is, are we allowed to use their guns? My thinking is, we're underpowered enough as it is, surely we're allowed to use guns. But I know some of you are like, nah, -uh, this is tribal, you don't get to use guns. My people are completely uneducated in on how to use guns, therefore you, can, you can't. So, if that's what you're thinking, uh, that's fine, and I'll obey that for now until I get feedback from you. And if enough of you say, yeah, you can use guns, then I'll be like, alright then, cool, thanks guys, you've gone easy on me a little bit. Uh, oh dear, Ash and Crow's in a poor mood. Your mood doesn't bother me, mate. Whether you're infected or not bothers me. Yeah, I'm quite happy. At least no one's bleeding. Good, good. Okay, so we're building a door there, building a door there. Got that one, got that one. The hut still needs to be completed, but we don't have the materials for that. So, let's go and click on our wood. Oh, getting rid of my whole my whole plan here now. That's gonna suck. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll draw it out so I don't forget what I'm doing. See, I've I've, I've developed all these new skills, guys. That uh, I bet you never knew I had. Never actually used these functions uh, in the game before. Never really had to. But now we will. There we go. Let's get some more wood. Hang on. Ah, I need to get rid of all of that. Press C. And yeah, there we go. My plan sits underneath it beautifully. Oh my god, you know what? It's really hot here at the moment. I'm absolutely roasting, sweating while I'm talking. I'm on the top floor of an apartment building here in northern Sweden, and you'd think, well, it's cold there. It isn't. It's bloody hot. <laughs> I'm sweating my knackers off. I haven't even got any jeans on, for goodness sake. I'm still really hot. All right, Ash and Crow, terrible mood. Lord Cucumber, I don't think there's much we can do for you, Ash and Crow. Look. What about Lord Cucumber? What's bothering you? Urgently hungry. Well, we can solve that problem by letting you just go and grab a bite. And Oz as well, especially. You're not urgently hungry. You're just in a hideous environment. Well, don't worry, lads. As long as you work hard, there'll be... Uh... Oh, dear. Extreme infection. As long as you work hard, there'll be a hut for you. Uh, hmm. All right. Well, let's get our next hut lined up to be built. I'm slightly perturbed here because I've got a feeling Ash and Chrome won't pull through here, even though we've moved him to the best possible bed. Tell you what, Reinstein, now it's available. F uh, now Ash and Crow's available for treatment. Rush over there and prod him like you did before with your magical finger of medicine. Bring! You are now uh, not needing any more treatment. And I will give you a, some berries to eat. There you go. These are magical berries as well. They have. Uh, uh, antioxidant properties, and just like real berries, in fact, like blueberries and stuff. Uh, you have detected a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby. Ooh. Whoa, look at all those meals. Nu they're only nutrient paste, but there's 41 of them. That's bloody good. Right, Oz, how about you go and grab them? Where are they? There they are. If you will, that'd be very kind. Great, I like the little picture up there of Ash and Crow just lying on his side. He's like, I can't move. This extreme infection, 93%. Do you think he'll pull through? I'm really scared here. I'm really scared. How's our dog now as well? Alfred is fully healed. Good, good. 
Ah, look. It looks like our dogs are mating again. You dirty dogs. At least they're not injured anymore, though. Permanent gunshot injury to the right eye. Yeah, it could you some problems, but at least you're not dead. <laughs> All right, 98% immune. Let's just watch Ashen Crow as he perhaps pulls through. Flip a coin. Yes, he's developed immunity. Ashen Crow, you brute. I love it. All right, cucumbers chopping down the trees. And we can carry on building this building. Where is Osgon? Is he still carrying back those nutrient paste meals? What's he up to? Ah, he's building now. Good job, sir. Look at these dogs. They're rampant. They're like rabbits, but not. They're dogs. And this poor little Yorkshire Terrier, he's like my dog. He can't get any action. <laughs> poor old Rocky. All right, Ash and Crow's in a poor mood. Don't worry, mate. I think your mood will pick up soon now you realise you're not going to die. This is unroofed as well. Ozzy, get to roofing it. Uh, let's put another wooden bed here. That's two wooden beds we've got for you to build now, mate. And you've got six construction. Think you're probably going to make shoddy ones again. Oh, look, Alfred Skips is chopping down this these trees. Beautiful work. Now we have to decide... Oh, the king has to have a royal bed, right? Gold? I haven't got bloody gold. What do you think I am? Sandstone. Hmm. Yes. Well, we did have 70 sandstone. If we deconstruct these, we'll probably have 70 again. And then we can make a sandstone bed for our for our king. Or uh, we can actually nominate a king. If it, I think Ashen Crow should be our king, because seeing as he's the biggest Patreon supporter. Uh, $50 a month, mate. Thank you ever so much. Um, and maybe you don't want public acclaim, but I can't thank you enough. It really helps my channel, well, stay alive, basically. <laughs> uh, what with my move back to England and everything, things are going to get a little bit tricky. Uh, so, muchos tancos, if that's even a word. Sounds like Latin, but it probably isn't. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're still constructing stuff there. We've got a dead body. Has he got any armor? Am I allowed to wear put armor on my characters? Or is that against the, the rules as well? Do they have to wear, like, tribal garb? Do we go full tribal role-playing? What's Oz up to? Going for a walk. Yes, well, it is rather nice, nice night here. 24 degrees, 9 o'clock in the evening. It's about what it is here in Sweden. 23. And I looked before we uh, started recording. All right, cool. So we're actually doing quite well. What did you think of my combat when I um, dealt with those raiders? I thought that was a pretty good little trick. I, I've never really considered it before, but it's a good tip. If you engage uh, ranged troops with melee, don't do it with scythers or uh, centipedes that probably kill you but if you do it with range troops like somebody with a pistol or a shotgun or whatever then they can't actually use the shotgun or pistol so yeah works rather well all right ash and crow sleeping there aha we need to make this bed non-medical and yeah our base is looking quite good right now i think um i've got a solar flare it really doesn't affect us seeing as we don't actually have any uh electricity here uh, in fact, electricity, if I just show you, is 3,600 research points away, which you can see, because our current tech level is Neolithic and uh, the project tech level level is industrial, the cost multiplier is 300. So it would have cost 1,200, but it costs 3,600 because we're tribal people. I was going to say dumb tribal people, but that's me. Um, oh, there's a wild boar who's just gone mad, but then felt fallen asleep. The testosterone within him has been too much, and he's like, ah, can't fight anyone. Not on no sleep. I will have a sleep first. And then I will... Uh, sounds like some sort of regal British wild boar, but I assure you he isn't. He's probably just wild and jungle-like. <laughs> um, all right, what else is going on here? Everyone's just asleep. Ah, oh, Ashen Crow's decided to take it upon himself to do some research, which is rather good, actually. Yeah, because we told him to. <laughs> Derp. All right, low medicine, obviously, because we can't actually... Uh, we don't actually have the skills to... Oh, damn! We've got to fire people! Oh, yeah, did get a uh, notification. I can't remember who it was. It might be been Omar, actually, to set bed rest to one and uh, flick to one for everybody. That means if they're injured, they'll just stay in bed. Hopefully, that's the theory, anyway. Uh, good, they've dealt with the fire. Kind of want to take down one of these elephants. I think we should... Oh, we could put uh, Ashen Crow on trying to tame something. Oh, he's only got two in it. 
Has anyone else got a really good skill in handling animals? No. Rhinestone's about the best with five. That could work, actually, because I grow as well. Yeah, let's try and tame some elephants. That'd be excellent. Uh, oh, it requires level six. Oh, man, that's not fair. Well, we need someone to handle our animals and train our dogs, so I guess we'll do that. Let's take a little look here at combat. How are you? Well, at least we've set them to train, but they haven't actually learnt anything yet. Somehow, Cinnamon, our little Yorkshire Terrier, has learnt to be obedient without anyone telling him whatsoever. Hold on, what was that noise? It sounded like something just exploded. Ah, it was lightning. Okay. Nothing to worry about then. Ah, apart from that one, that's right in our base. That's it, Rhiney. Put it out. Nothing the rain won't do. You could just ignore it, seeing as there's a lot of rain. Not as clever as you think, are you, mate? Right, Lord Cucumber. That's it, pal. Cut down those trees. This wood doesn't, like, rot or anything, does it? Oh, yeah, it does, actually. Look. 143 out of 150. Ooh, I think we need a wood... Uh, a wooden hut. That would be kind of cool. Aha. Uh, wood hut to store the wood, sorry. Um, yeah, we need to f finish off our little uh, building here for our chief. So if I was going to have a, a storage area for wood, where would I put it? Probably near here would be a good idea. I don't want it to look ugly, you see. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put it here and build it into the mountain. Put a little door there and allocate that as our stockpile for wood. Yay! And clear all. Where is it? Raw resources, isn't it? Yeah. Wood. Bosh. Bob's your uncle. Everything's good. Hey, we've got. Uh, a bow there that someone's not using. Oz, can you wield a bow? Aye, aye, Captain. I can indeed. And I will... Ooh, what's this? Cluster of cargo pods. Milk? Oh, my goodness. Well, they do need to sleep, but I want the milk. Let's go out there and grab it. Grab it while it's there. I love milk. All right. Yeah, we're going on a night's expedition to grab the milk. Sounds stupid, but, you know, if you love milk, you got to have it, right? <laughs> uh, this is turning out to be quite a, a good episode so far. I think I'm quite happy with the way things are going. Remember, we do need to build our base defences, and, um, well, that's not going very well right now. And we do need some hauling done. Um, tell you what, put handling on two, and... Yeah, then Rhinestein will do the hauling after he's done the growing. That makes sense. So he needs to, like, hurry up and plant these crops so he can haul all this crap out of the way. Yes, sir. That is what we require from you. What are you... Were you chopping down a tree? Ah, just so you can plant that. All right, I'll let you off. Okay, so I think I've got the jobs allocated nicely. We've got some nice milk here. That's going to spoil in 13 days. In 25 de degree heat, it won't spoil for 13 days. That's quite impressive. Uh, Alfred skips. I see you making me... Ah, you're making the pemmican. Aha. That's good. I don't think pemmican's, like, particularly nutritious or anything. 0.05. Yeah, it's not great compared to milk. Which is saying 0.05 as well. Yeah, so it feeds them. What about these meals, then? These have got nutrition. Aha. 0.85. So, I think, then, I'll suspend the pemmican... And just have them cook normal meals. Is that was that literally just a tray of milk you made there? Yeah, a milk uh, meal, lovely. No uh, porridge or anything to go with it. Just milk. Mmm, lovely, tasty. <laughs> okay, let's build some more of these wooden death fall traps. Um, ooh, our tribal hut is now built. Ah, cucumbers building a roof there. We need another. We need a bed. Oh yes. Oh yes, the sandstone. I'm going to assume I've got 70, because we had 70, so... Where should we put the bed? Oh, it doesn't fit right in the middle. Oh, that's going to ruin my OCD. It will there, though. Yes, we'll put it over there. And this tribal hut can have, like, more than one torch, just to make it a little bit more fancy. <laughs> um, yeah, we need a couple of torches in these rooms. Oh, look, an awful bed. Sorry, but you're going to have to build it again. And a poor bed. Nope, build it again. 
Um, so that means we've got two beds available. Yeah, and they have to sleep there. All right, good. Research is nearly complete on stone cutting. Even though we've got no one actually free to do the cutting of the said stones. But uh, nonetheless, I think I'm going to wrap up the episode there. I'm quite happy. We've got four little uh, huts for everyone. Which works because we've got five people. Four regulars and one tribal chief. Um, who do we recommend or who do we think has been the best... Um, colonist in this episode send me your votes in the comment section that'd be pretty cool next episode looks like we're going to be dealing with a trader from kamiza ergo cool i don't know if we have much to trade we've got loads of steel <coughs> and 200 silver <laughs> my girlfriend just sneezed that's all right don't worry <laughs> um yeah so i've wrapped up this episode thank you for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed it uh, if you have leave a like share the video on tell you what share it on reddit for this week that might help me get some views um, yeah, and keep subscribing, keep, uh, join, look on my Facebook page as well, I, I post some stuff on there, um, uh, and if you want to, support me on Patreon. Thanks for watching, guys, have a great day, I'll see you soon. Oh yeah, do check the, uh, schedule on my channel page as well, it's changed, three episodes of RimWorld Alpha 14 a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Ciao, ciao!